I went inside and I and I saw you know the, the studio completely ransacked. Thirty-one thousand dollars worth of instruments, music equipment, and tools stolen from a state-of-the-art Garden City recording lab. Today, the owners have a plea to the thieves, return the stolen property. Our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with one of the owners about what happened and how they're doing. Shira, this is heartbreaking. Yeah, Mark, you know, the Audio Lab Recording Studio has a lot of history in our community. It's been in business for 28 years, and most of our well-known local artists have recorded there at some point, which is why so many people online were shocked when they heard about this. Then I walked into the control room and there was, you know, all of our keyboards were gone and all the instruments that are normally on the walls. Steve Fulton is the co-founder and co-owner of Audio Lab Recording Studio. He says on any given day, there's guitars covering these walls. But on Sunday morning, when he walked into the Garden City Recording Studio, 12 guitars, along with keyboards, microphones, and speakers, were gone altogether worth about $25,000. They didn't smash things, so I was kind of like relieved that they weren't malicious like that. Steve called police, and what they discovered was the thieves used a crowbar to open the door. And kind of remarkably not really damaging the door very much to where we noticed it, and it still remained locked. But that wasn't all. They later noticed the thieves also broke into a nearby trailer, which belongs to one of the recording studio's partners. And in there, they also stole $6,000 worth of tools. In total, 25 items were taken. My grandfather's banjo was one of the things that got stolen, which is very dear to me. Uh, that was hard. Audio Lab didn't have cameras or security system in place when this happened, but a neighbor's camera caught a white truck leaving the area with the stolen equipment in it. I feel a little bit sad and concerned for these people. They're just misguided and, and um, making bad decisions. I just don't want to put like anger towards these people as if they're these awful, awful people. You know, they did a stupid thing and they'll get caught. And I just hope that, I don't know, I just hope that it's not a thing where they get persecuted by everybody. Steve adds he hopes the thieves learn from this and not resort to things like this again. We, you know, feel lucky they didn't smash stuff and no one got hurt and the community is rising up like, like Boise does. Steve says this entire ordeal was a wake up call that he can't be as trusting in our growing community. They've now installed a security system. Meantime, Garden City Police tell me they spent the weekend scouring the neighborhood and getting security footage. They're still investigating, but they have tracked down that truck believed to have been seen in that video. And we'll stay on top of this and let you know what developments come out of it. Mark. As you know, Steve and his fellow partners and team do so much good in our community. Mm -hmm. To see that happen is just devastating. Absolutely, and you meant, and he mentioned it there too. But there's some of this, some of these equipment. It, there's sentimental value to mm. it as well, so it's just yeah. tough. His grandfather's banjo. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, Shira, we'll stay on top of this for sure.